Well, poor Alex. Oh God. Oh, we took so much damage. Ugh. Can I get health for this? No. Yikes. I'm sure we'll restart here if I die, so. Oh, never mind. Health stuff. I'll save too. Because I can get through on half health, probably, right? They just blow themselves up. Oh. Nailed it. More painkillers. Excellent. Definitely want those. Oh, okay. So the exit grate right there, we closed it. Is there a reason for us closing it? They probably close it if we're not fast enough killing them, right? That's gotta be it. I'm trying to pick up ammo here. Desert Eagle ammo, Beretta ammo. That's what we want. To coppers. Hmm. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Pain to the max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves, or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? <laughs> Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A who's friend asking? of a junk squad plan. The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino <laughs> wasn't in this cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Oh, this is so Alan Wake, too. <laughs> Man, they really blew me up, huh? All right. Fast and easy. A letter on the desk caught my eye. Vigilio, you all right in there? They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. It's pain. 
I thought it was funny how they, he called him Virgilio. Isn't the name Virgilio? Alright. I'd met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right hand man, Vinny Gagnidi. Gagnidi was a high strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Hmm. Okay. Anything good in any of these drawers? Probably not. Yeah, nothing. Rats. That's cool. Man, look at this like outside skybox out here. Oh, just the atmosphere, the ambiance is impeccable and they, they achieve it with just so little. I really respect, you know, when older games are able Getting to just like- was not gonna be easy. Staircase was locked and the elevator been busted for a decade or more. When they do so much with so little. Really special. All right, let's uh, save real quick. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Video games. Video games. Oh, piecemeal's here. Hey, piecemeal. Welcome. Yeah, this is, I think, the opposite side, right? Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Pain's gonna pay in stay. Oh, they don't explode. <laughs> All right. All right, how are we gonna do this? Oh, I have grenades now. All right, Beretta ammo. We can make use of that. Anything back here for us? Take that. All right. All right, I guess the door just fell right over. That's an interesting placement. What the hell? Can't get in there. Can't go out there. and ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all new episode <laughs> of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. My lady. My lord. My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. From the very first moment we met, upon that distant forest path, there has been sunlight in the autumn leaves, blazing like yeah. the colors of your hair. Oh, my lord, you should not speak so. But, my lady, I must, I must. My lord, no, I forbid you. This cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My lord, 
It is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you, I must know. I would rather die than not know. Yes, my lord, we should both <laughs> be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister. Wow. What a plot development. Junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. I think I died. Think I'm dead. Hmm. I was wondering if he'd be muttering anything that might be relevant, like retroactively relevant. Oh, those ones don't don't move all around, huh? It's only some of them. These ones are secured. Whoa, it exploded. Listen, guys, I'm just trying to I'm trying to watch some soaps here. Anything good? No. Yeah, those we can't. Okay. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound the city. Hmm. Well. This party had been dead for a while. I couldn't say I was sorry I'd missed the show. Okay. I've been in a very murder mystery, like, noir mood lately. Not even because of Alan Wake 2, just in general. I've been wanting to watch some, some good, like, you know, crime drama TV and stuff like that. Uh... I've been rereading Monster, the the Urasawa Naoki manga, which has been really enjoyable as well. Highly recommended for people who have never seen it before you know, or read it. damage there. It's fine. Can't break the window, I don't think. This is like a terrifying non-Euclidean. I found Muerte's room. Whoa! Muerte had received a letter. Investigation had turned up nothing to link Angela Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. 
collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Hmm. So that's interesting. All right, let's see. Anything else in here? Any other painkillers? Painkillers are the things we really want just to keep the damage down. Hovering around five at a time isn't terrible. What the oh! Don't mess with me, dude. There's blood out here. I mean, someone else was out here. Look at that. How do you get in here from outside if the maybe the window wasn't happened here? It was not a pretty sight. Buff. Or does that say bull? All right, that's all loaded. Molotov cocktails. All right, can't go in there. Then where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? Is that a painkiller? Yep. Radical. Hmm. Escape from the hotel. Okay. How are we going to do that? Uh. So how do I get out of the hotel then? Get up. I guess right here. Door was locked before. What is this? Damn. Told you. God damn. I thought it was a bomb for sure. Nah, the Russian wouldn't dare. This has been waiting. Yo! Whoa. Not bad. I'm getting better at this. had left her diary on the table. Whoa, secret room. Whoa, she was filming. Probably making uh, blackmail. Good for her, girl. Hustle. Let's go. Show him what for. Okay, let's read her diary. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. Uh -huh. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. Okay. Interesting. Alright, let's, uh... Keep yeah. on moving. Correct. Hey, we made it. Chapter four, the blood veins of New York. This is going, going all right so far. We're doing an okay job here. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. 
Look at those ratties. Littered them all with bullets. All right, we'll definitely want to read that. Listen to that in a second. Want to make sure. A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area, as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed, and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now, with no end in sight. We'd been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. I like how there's this all employees should wash their hands before leaving toilet sign uh, in a room that isn't a bathroom. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. All right, that was a battery. I was right. There. Whoa. What just exploded on me? Are these not destructible boxes? No, they totally are. Alright, that one had ammo in it, I guess. Can't get out there. Do I need to destroy these two? What the? Ah! Exhibit number one, a newspaper. Huh. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. <laughs> That's a one-way door. That's good to know. Got him down. Ah. Ah. Got him. Also, the reason why vampire movies take place in LA is because it's easy to juxtapose the glitz and indulgence of, of the Hollywood dream and of the big city with with vampires. It's like the whole point. You think these mobsters would would know a thing or two about indulgence? Chill with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss me off. Gentlemen, let's do business. Save real quick. I pushed the wrong button. Raph says Twilight takes place in Washington. Yeah, and that's why it's pretty boring for a vampire thing. A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. It was dirty money. Yeah, I mean, Twilight's vampires aren't really your standard vampires, right? But... There was a key on the table. 
so it's not gonna they're not gonna be focusing on the same themes but uh, the whole the whole point of LA vampires is to juxtapose the glamour and the the youthfulness of the city and the city of dreams and stuff like that with just that unending terrible experience of being a real bored vampire. Can't get into the restaurant. This whole area has like hotel Two dust vibes. Killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. Mm, mm. But no. Gross. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with the kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. <laughs> Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Care of them? Is the girl still alive? Yep. That's gross. Oh, I guess that was this. Never mind. It's not what I thought it was. <laughs> thought the fire extinguisher juice was something else. His underwear is still down, or, or his pants are still down. Alright. Got him. The big exit button. The antique switchboard was still in use. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, I got you. This makes pain. It came started capitals. He killed him. Word was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. Well, we can take that. I want a large pain. Large Max coming in. Is there a way to win anything out of this? I wanted to start spitting coins out. What the hell? Get dunked on. All right, let's see. Real men drink Casey. Alex Casey. It must be where the names come from. Ouch.
There we go. Hey, we made it through. Welcome to New York. The sequel to Welcome New York. All right. That's the exit. Do I want to go into the lounge first? I can't. The choice was made for us. Okay, I can't go in there. Then what do I want to do? What's the point? What was I supposed to do? I get it. Let the gun do the talking. So far, this game has been really interesting. I've been really enjoying this. I really don't remember much about these early levels. <clears throat> Through the looking glass and YouTube chat says, Toast, you have a new model. Yes, I have. I, I do have a new model. Uh, we've had the new model for uh, a little while now, just over a month and a half, I Turn think. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger-happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's <laughs> suit. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. <laughs> License plate vodka. <laughs> That's pretty good. But it has a European license plate on the front. That's kind of goofy. For some reason, this game is reminding me right now of Fahrenheit. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be before the explosive makeover. I don't know, man. What the hell? I don't like that it changed my gun on me. Oh, look at that CRT. That's a nice TV. I'd give for that. Realistically, I should be playing this on my CRT, but I'm not. I want to get back there. How do I get back there? There's guns back there. Look at that. There's like shotguns or rifles, maybe? Do I just go? Huh, I must go through the area next door. Four, five, six. Can't get in. Anything back here? Look at that. Ooh, footprints in the snow. That's kind of neat. And they glow. Kind of mapped to the lighting of the flame. That's nice. The headlines were a depressing read. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. Okay. Relax, Max. You're fine. It's all fine. Pump action shotgun. All right, so we got some more shotgun ammo. Nothing back here. 
Man, this game would have blown my mind back in 2001 if I played it on like a nice computer. Like, the game looked vaguely similar to this on PS2, I think, but like, and just the amount of like high quality textures and stuff for the time would have been just absolutely absurd. I just played it on like my family's, uh, my family's PS2, so. Because I rented it. Let's see. Peacemail says, uh, well, all of Max's blood is in his knees and shin, so no, Max is not fine. He's fine. That's where the blood goes. That's where the, that's what the blood's for. Keeps your knees spry. Can I shoot through this? No. Oh! Sorry, drug addicts. I didn't mean to just shoot you for no reason. That I just had a, it was a gut reaction that got nervous. The whole building was rigged with explosives. That's not good. That's bad, actually. Okay, so those don't explode. What do I gotta do? What's happening? Huh? Okay, that'll Jeff kill Pupino's me. Suite was on the top floor. Great. At least it used to be before the explosive makeover. Okay, so we can't uh, we can't go through that fire. All right, we're really messed up. Okay. Fine. Could really go for having more health right now, but I guess we just can't do that, which is a bummer. I'm just wondering what, what we're supposed to do about the fire, right? <clears throat> Did I hit a weird trigger or something? The headlines were a depressing read. Gotcha, that's what that is. Grab the shotgun from over here. NYC law speed limit 30. You know, the thing is, is that even in New York City, I've never seen a, a street dead end quite like this. <laughs> Especially not in the city proper. Hey, you do this and let's save this time see what we're supposed to do here are these guys gonna attack me this time no because I didn't attack them the whole building was rigged with explosives okay What am I hearing? Okay, I can't blow through the door. And I, I don't think I'm allowed to go through that. Yeah, I'm not. Hmm. So what am I supposed to do here? This is all very mysterious. Is there gonna, is there something in the wall that I can do? I mean, it very much looks like I'm supposed to do something with this, right? Do I 
throw a Molotov over there? I do. That's what I'm supposed to do. So that checks out. Um, I wish I could just hit, like, shoot it, because, like, look at that. Painkillers, sweet. All right, so now we're in here. Interesting. Oh. There he is. Yeah, here's that trancy, matrixy music. Oh god. Can't open any of this stuff. Okay. Ooh, a phone ringing. A beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of the manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Oh boy. That's Payne. That's Payne. Get him! He shot his buddy. Whoa. Oh boy. Um, that's not good. Someone had left a letter on the counter. Hey. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, he'd push a man too far, and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. NYPD! 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 That's not good. Lotus asks, what do you do in this game? You are Max Payne, uh, ex-cop who is uh, trying to take down mob bosses. It's kind of similar to you, something like The Punisher but different. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll go over here. The door was locked. I'd need a key to get through. Didn't I have a key? Okay, can't get through there, so that's no bueno. Do I just have to get... Got it. All right, key on the shelf. Let's go. Chief's oh. Justice says, Max Payne, I'm playing through Alan Wake at the moment. That is why we're playing Max Payne, because people wanted to, oh. All right, that was a bummer. Uh, we're playing through. Oh, great. Now I have to do all this again, too. 
Uh, we're playing through Max Payne because my patrons voted on it because we just finished Alan Wake 2 and it was awesome. Okay, good. It didn't hit them. Woo. All right, let's go. Oh God, I took so much damage that time. All right, let's get back up side, uh, top side. Perfect. Got pretty iced there. What the hell? Ah. All right, didn't take hits that time. I like how quick this game is just to kind of respawn you. Let's do this. One, two, three. Peekaboo. Ah. What the hell? Took damage there, but that's fine. We need to use our uh, shotgun ammo anyway. So that's fine. Lucky? Dang. We're getting blown up, folks. I need to save when I get up there instead of just constantly having to replay this section. Alright. Let him walk in a little bit before he can flank me by the door. Nice, look at that. What? Ah! How am I, how do I keep just dying instantly, even with a uh, high health? This is wild. All right. Wait for him. Just like we did last time. Hold you. Got him. All right, now here. We wait for him to come down. And now before I walk in here, I'll save. There we go. All right. Now it's just a matter of walking in.